Hello, everyone. When we think of the Big Bang, we think of a loud, hot, bright explosion. But was the explosion followed by a colder, darker shadow? In the standard cosmological picture, the early universe was a very exotic place. Perhaps the most important thing that happened in the cosmos was the Big Bang's inflation event, which took place very, very early, causing our infinitely large universe to enter a period of expansion in very, very minute fractions of a second. When inflation ended, the exotic quantum fields that caused this event decayed into the torrent of particles and radiation that remains today. When our universe was less than 20 minutes old, these particles began to assemble themselves as the first protons and neutrons during what we call the Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Big Bang nucleosynthesis is a pillar of modern cosmology as the calculations behind it accurately predict the amount of hydrogen and helium in the cosmos. However, despite the success of our early universe picture, we still do not understand dark matter, the mysterious and invisible form of matter that makes up most of the mass in the cosmos. Five-sixths of the universe seems to be made up of a mysterious substance called dark matter. Until now, physicists assumed that dark matter was formed by the same burst of heat that started the universe. But dark matter lives in a kind of parallel, shadow world, and hardly interacts with normal matter, which makes up everything we can see, feel, and observe. Despite the success of our early universe picture, we still do not understand dark matter, the mysterious and invisible form of matter that makes up most of the mass in the cosmos. The standard assumption in Big Bang models is that the process that created particles and radiation also created dark matter. And after that, dark matter lurked around, ignoring everyone else. But a group of researchers came up with a new idea. They argue that our periods of inflation and Big Bang nucleosynthesis are not alone. Perhaps some kind of shadow was created with the Big Bang days after the universe began. This is what Austin physicists Catherine Fries and Martin Winkler propose in a new theory they call the Dark Big Bang. It could explain why dark matter has eluded detection until now and how scientists can finally change that. This is what Austin physicists Catherine Fries and Martin Winkler propose in a new theory they call the Dark Big Bang. It could explain why dark matter has eluded detection until now and how scientists can finally change that. There are two big explosions in our scenario. Winkler said of the outcome, which came out in the preprint last month. The hot Big Bang creates hot plasma of visible matter and radiation, as in the standard picture. Dark matter is created by a later, darker Big Bang. In the Big Bang story, we're all familiar with regular matter, like atoms was created in the early universe, when space was hot and crowded. As the universe cooled and expanded, atoms began to combine into structures like galaxies and stars. This is where dark matter came into existence. We know that dark matter exists because nothing else can provide enough gravity to keep stars inside galaxies, at least if our understanding of gravity isn't somehow wrong. Dark matter has been playing this critical role since just after the Big Bang. Like a kind of cosmic usher, dark matter gravitationally directed atoms into place. Dark matter has decided where today's galaxies will sit, and the day every galaxy, including ours, has been held together by a cloud of these invisible particles. So where did dark matter come from? Most theories say it formed in the same Big Bang as everything else, 
but Winkler and Fries began to question that assumption. It's often forgotten that we have zero evidence for dark matter before times related to structure formation, Winkler said. So maybe dark matter wasn't around yet when normal matter was formed. In fact, we found that dark matter formation may have taken place as long as a month later, he said, almost an eternity by cosmological standard. It's a crazy new theory with important implications for scientists trying to measure dark matter. If the dark Big Bang had really taken place, the effects of its seismic explosion would still ripple through the universe today. When massive objects undergo dramatic changes, they can produce gravitational waves that cause space to shake like the surface of a pond with a stone thrown into it. In 2017, an experiment called LIGO won the Nobel Prize in Physics for measuring the gravitational waves produced by two colliding black holes. However, the gravitational waves produced by the dark Big Bang will be weak and slow-moving waves for LIGO to detect. Instead, the authors suggest looking at the effect of gravitational waves on distant flashing stars called pulsars. Pulsars are dead rotating stars that send light to Earth at regular intervals like a lighthouse. These periodic beams of light must be affected as gravitational waves travel through the universe. According to Fries and Winkler, future studies combining information from many of these rays, such as the International Pulsar Timing Array and the Square Kilometer Array, may find conclusive evidence of the dark Big Bang. The new idea emerged at a critical moment when physicists search for dark matter was approaching a breaking point. What makes dark matter so mysterious is that it seems to pass through normal matter. Scientists have built giant underground detectors to catch dark matter particles as they pass through Earth, but elusive ghosts don't seem to leave any traces. Physicists began to fear that only gravity connected the dark world to ours, and that this tiny pole was too small to be measured in a laboratory. But the new theory addresses this frightening possibility. Once we allow the idea of purely gravitational dark matter, the dark Big Bang is perhaps the most plausible production mechanism for dark matter, Winkler said. The good news in our article is that even if dark matter only gravitationally couples, there are still great chances to test such a scenario. Indeed, the coming years may reveal the aftershocks of the dark, Big Bang, and finally fill this huge gap in our knowledge of the cosmos. That's all from us for today. What do you think about this discovery? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section. To follow the news from Cosmos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. See you in another video.